I'd like to share my impressions of Strauss Strawberry Shortcake Pipe Tobacco while enjoying a pipe. Howdy, y'all. Virginia Piper here. Not too long ago, Piper Dave posted a video in which he was enjoying Strauss's Strawberry Shortcake Pipe Tobacco. And as much as I like strawberries and the memories associated with them, the thought of a strawberry-flavored pipe tobacco kind of took me aback. Until I thought about it. Hmm. I enjoy cherry-flavored pipe tobaccos. And strawberry is not too distant a, cus a cousin of cherry. Well, when I let Piper Dave know that I was intrigued, he kindly sent me a sample. Here's my first impression. I'm going to do a review here of Strauss's Strawberry Shortcake Pipe Tobacco. Now, Piper Dave was kind enough to send me a sample, so I don't have a tin to talk about tin art or anything like that. But still, take a look at this. I mean, the sample, it's in a glass jar, which I really do find to be super cool. You know, I'll tell you, when I've sent mine out, I pretty much just stick to baggies all the time, <laughs> you know? Um, so this is just really classy. I, I like it a lot. Let me open this up, and I'm going to take in the jar note. Hmm. Okay, basically I'm picking up some sweetness here, for sure. Um, vanilla, I'm getting to. Um, there is definitely a bit of a tobacco type aroma in here, although kind of hard for me to place it going to probably think Cavendish here. Let me show you a look inside, and you'll see that there are some dark and lighter flakes. Primarily dark, though. Check out the consistency. Oh, it is beautiful. Just love the consistency in this. Not too dry, not too moist. Just right. So, I guess what I'm going to have to do now is pack a pipe. Okay, I am back with a fully packed pipe. I've got to tell you, I've been looking forward to this all weekend. I really have. Hmm. Catching some fruity notes. Very nice. I think this could use a relight though. I'm 
tasting something here. Can't put my finger on. I sincerely doubt there's a lot of Kia or Parik in this, but. I know there's no Parik. But I swear, there seems to be a hint of Latakia, and again, I doubt that's in here too. Tasting some Virginias. There's a fruitiness for sure. I guess I can kind of taste the strawberry a little bit. Not so much the shortcake, though, but that's okay. Hmm. But that said, maybe there is a little bit of a creaminess there, too. The aroma that I'm picking up here is really nice, and I've got to assume that the room note is incredible. Hmm. Definitely is an enjoyable blend, though. I tried the pipe tobacco a day later, so here you will see my second impression. So here we go with another impression of short strawberry shortcake pipe tobacco. Um, probably no sense really at least running through again the consistency and look with the pipe tobacco. It really hasn't changed that much since the first. But I will take in the jar note again just to see if I pick up, you know, anything any different. And I would say it's about the same as last time. Again, kind of getting um, some fruity notes. Maybe a little bit of, oh, I don't know. I'm still having a hard time differentiating between uh, different types of tobaccos themselves, but probably, again, most likely Cavendish, I'm thinking. So we'll go for the lighting. Momentarily. There we go. This is a difficult pipe tobacco to initially light. Let's try again. You know, normally I can actually get by without a showering light. But for this one, it's definitely needed. Mm. This 
still taking in everything that's going on here. Not a whole lot's changed since the last time I tried it. Other than the Latakia like flavoring that I picked up, which was subtle, is no longer there, and I'm pretty much convinced there's really no Latakia in the blend. Definitely some of the fruitiness. So I'm kind of, I can't even really say I'm picking up on strawberry. Definitely some kind of berry though. It's got a sweet aroma. That's just, wow, very nice. Mm. This is what the room note is like. Wow. So I like it. I would definitely probably put this in the dessert pipe tobacco category. Hmm. Okay, I kind of get a sense of maybe like a strawberry shortcake here. So there you go. Mm. The room note should definitely be a crowd pleaser. I should add though that I experienced a bit of tongue bite with this blend. Even though it seems to burn cool, I suspect the tongue bite probably came from the interaction of the blend with my pipes. It was also a tough review to do, as I wasn't able to track down what's actually in the blend. Should have asked Piper Day before I started. But nonetheless, it was a lot of fun. Have a great one, y'all.